Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your dominant energy to see what influences are surrounding you. Okay. And basically your dominant energy is the energy that's influencing your entire reading. I'm also going to take a look at your past, present, future energies, what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you, what's in your challenge position, how to overcome that challenge and much, much more. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. And I have partnered with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. Also remember, this is a general reading, so take it as a resonance. It could be you towards somebody, somebody here towards you. So if you feel the need to reverse the roles, go ahead and do so. This can also be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant in your chart, please make sure to check those positions out as well. And you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have here the number 12, observe, okay? So it's gonna be a very important week for you to, instead of taking action, Take a step back and observe. As you can see, there's a woman in the middle and she's observing four energies there, okay? There's two women uh, right below her and then there's two women on uh, like above her. So it's the energy here of, of observe, okay? So pay attention to your surroundings, okay? Now again, here with observe, it's also telling you to look deeper into the situation, okay? If somebody here is telling you something, try to read between the lines and try to see what is it that they're really trying to tell you, like the meaning behind the words, okay? Let's go ahead and see more so about the situation and what this is pertaining to this week for you. So you have the tower moment. You also have here the four of pentacles. You have here the page of pentacles, the nine of cups, okay, the ten of wands. What else? The world reverse, the four of wands. You could be dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, I see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio at the bottom, the Knight of Cups. So look at that, the Knight of Cups. Somebody here coming in, offering you an offer of love, okay? Some kind of gesture of love. Somebody here having romantic feelings for you. I feel like this person here has interest in you, okay? Getting to know you, getting to kind of, you know, perhaps maybe meet you somewhere. But I feel like somebody here is coming in to offer you a gesture of love because you're at the Knight of Cups. This is the charmer. This is the person here who has romantic feelings and they're expressing those romantic feelings, okay? Now, I do see here the situation pertains to the tower. So there's gonna be a situation here where something here might be shocking, okay? Coming in in a very shocking kind of way, maybe a shocking revelation. For others, it could also be something here that is crumbling because you've been sweeping under the rug some kind kind of problem, some kind of issue that maybe you haven't been prepared to confront, okay? Now we're going to let that noise go by. Excuse the noise. Okay, tower moment there, some kind of tower moment, right? So with the ambulance there. So again, the tower moment is some kind of shocking, new shocking revelation. It could also be something here that is falling apart and that is crumbling. But what you don't see that's right underneath this tower moment is that there is a blessing in disguise. Okay, always, always, always. Even if right now your circumstances feel confusing, it feels like everything is not working out, you know, that sort of thing. It's all happening for a reason. And that reason pertains to some kind of gift that is coming your way, okay? Now, also in your challenge position, you have here the Four of Pentacles. So challenging you this week is some kind of an energy where you're not feeling too good about opening up, okay? Maybe if this is financial related, perhaps right now, it's gonna be challenging for you to really kind of save that money, okay? Because I do sense that there's gonna be some kind of energy where you you might have to be spending money when you might not have the money. It's gonna be a little bit challenging for you to perhaps want to spend money on something that, you know, maybe you don't have the financial stability. You know, it could also be some kind of challenging situation that requires you to perhaps be more open with your finances and perhaps maybe 
what you want to spend. Maybe right now you're trying to save money, that sort of thing. Okay. For others of you guys, if this is love related, perhaps you're not ready to open up emotionally. Okay. Now here with the page of pentacles, I do see that you want to make an offering. You want to say something, reply something to this person, but I feel like you're coming from a very practical perspective. Okay. You're not really, again, you're not really opening up with your emotions. It's more so like you want to make sure that you're taking the right steps before you open up. Okay. So I do sense that you're being very methodical about whatever this is. Okay. You're kind of, you're, you're approaching it rather with your mind than with your heart. Now also here with the nine of cups, what this is saying is that the root of the issue is the fact that you feel like you're not manifesting something. You feel like you really want something and you're not manifesting it. So the root of the issue is basically asking yourself, okay, what is it that perhaps you are not doing okay or doing too much of that perhaps is blocking the situation because for some of you guys this is some kind of sacrifice that you need to make in order to get what you want okay like i'll give you an example if you want to buy a house that might require you to save some money and not spend the way that maybe you're used to spending that's just an example if you want a love connection perhaps it's going to require you to make some changes in your schedule in order for you to you know strengthen a connection that sort of thing so here with the 10 of uh, of wands also in the recent past i do see that you felt burdened you felt stressed you felt overwhelmed there was some kind of situation that perhaps you were taking on as your own responsibility and i feel like this responsibility was somebody else's okay so you were kind of taking on way too much now here with the world reverse i do see what's coming towards you is some kind of an uh an opportunity to close out a cycle that you have left open okay open ended it could be what, what with whatever situation career related family related love related whatever this is but what's coming towards you is going to be an opportunity for you to finally close out a chapter in your life okay in order for you to start a brand new one now also here with the four of wands in your subconscious thoughts i do see that in your subconscious thoughts you want something stable you want either marriage you want something stable it could also be that you want to celebrate something but i do sense that you want that sense of community you want that sense of togetherness okay that's here in your subconscious thoughts that's really what you want even though you might not be ready to open up emotionally what you really want is some kind of a long-term type of situation, whether it's with a business partner, whether it's in a relationship, career-related, family-related, whatever this is. You want a sense of community, okay? Also here with the Four of Cups Reverse, somebody sees you as a missed opportunity that they don't want to miss out on this time around. So somebody sees you as some kind of an energy here where, again, they want to offer you something. They want to come in and express their love to you, express how they feel. They don't want to miss out on this opportunity anymore. Also here with the Seven of Pentacles, your action advice, okay? is basically don't give up so easily. Don't give up on what you believe in just because you haven't figured out how to get it or how to get there. You've already been putting in the work, you've already put in the put in, putting in the effort and it's time for you to again continue having faith. Now here also with the page of wands be ready, be prepared, because there's going to be a message that will be delivered to you, okay? This message coming in, I feel like it's going to be in the form of some kind of a romantic gesture. It could also be a job offer for some of you guys, okay? With the Page of Pentacles, somebody here offering you how to make more money or an opportunity where you can possibly create some kind of abundance. But we're going to be going into the extended ring to see who this person is coming in. I see that this person, you know, does want to kind of offer you a gesture of love. Also here with the Knight of Cups, okay? I feel like this individual Individual doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity that they will be having with you. It could be Aquarius, Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it could be any of the signs really, but we're going to be going into the extended reading into their subconscious thoughts about either deeper feelings, emotions for you, okay? Also, I want to look deeper into how they see you, how they see the situation, how the situation is all going to develop for you, what's going to be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from Spirit. If you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconscious their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only 10 
$10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.